Hey guys, uh, John here, and uh, I am in beautiful Anaheim, California, where I came down to cover D23 and specifically the um, Marvel Star Wars Fox Films uh, presentation that they're doing today. And as you guys know, we announced that we were going to be doing a uh, live stream of sorts once uh, we got out of the panel. But that's not going to be happening today, and I would like to walk you guys through uh, why this live stream that we promised we would be doing is not going to be happening, thanks to our friends at Disney. So anyway, let me let me walk you through it. So back on August 16th, uh, we got our confirmation that uh, that I was going to be granted press credentials now to to come to D23 Expo, and 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 sure enough, I've got my media badge we ha -ha! i got my media badge here and so and just you know i i never when i sent in my application for it i never thought for a second i was entitled to get a media application or to get a media pass or anything like that i knew i had to apply for it and if i got it i got it if i didn't i didn't and uh, on august what date was that again august 16th uh i found out that hey we got the media badge great now on the acceptance letter that i got it did let me know the procedure of what I had to do to make sure I got uh, media seating at the big presentation today on Saturday morning. So in that email, it said, you reserved media seating requests for presentations in Hall D23. That's where the Marvel presentation, Marvel Star Wars Fox presentation is going to be. Uh, Premier stage, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Please directly get in touch with the following contacts. And the Walt Disney Studios, including Hall D23 panels, they gave me the name of a contact. So of course, on that very same day, uh, or it might have been the next day, August 16th or August 17th, uh, I wrote to them asking, hey, you know, uh, we would love to uh, be a part of this. Now, it, in that email where it said that we had to contact this person to get our reserved media seating. It did also have this one paragraph that said, for most panels, there will be limited number of standby seats made available on a first come, first serve basis for media who are not granted a reserved seat. So I'm like, okay, uh, that's fine. But um, I'm, I'm sure we'll get a reserved seat again. I'm not entitled to get one. But I just thought, okay, we'll probably get one. I'm getting my request in early. They approved me for my media badge. I'm sure it's all good. So days pass, and then a week passes, and all this kind of stuff. And I realized I, I, we're, we're going to run out of hotels. Now, because we wanted to do a lot of coverage for D23, I decided to splurge a little bit, uh, open up the company bank account a bit, and get us a hotel that is literally right here connected to the uh, convention center. We're right here at the Marriott that's right here on the steps of the convention center. It cost a little bit extra, had to get a, a couple of rooms, you know, me, Rob, had to get a couple of rooms for a couple of nights, and I'm not going to lie to you, I ended up splurging a lot, spent thousands of dollars on these hotel rooms because we wanted to be able to get in and out of there pretty quick so we can make videos and report and do a live stream about this thing, so I bit the bullet and got that stuff, and I always thought if for whatever reason we don't get these media credentials or whatever, I can just cancel it. So I put in my, at my request for the reserve media seating. And then I wait days and days and days and days. And finally, um, a couple of days, I start to panic. So on Wednesday, just a couple of days ago, I write them again because I, I, had, I put in my, my request. I still hadn't heard anything. It was just a few days before it. So I finally wrote them again on Wednesday, September 7th. And I just said, hey, just uh, following up on my email from August 17th, uh, we were hoping to secure... Uh, seating for the Saturday 10 a.m. panel. If that's not available, could you please tell us the process for making sure we can get into the panel? Uh, thank you for all your efforts. I'm sure this must be an insane week for you. Cheers. So I, I wrote that into them, and it wasn't until the day before D23, uh, when it was past the point that I could get a refund on my on my passes, the day before, that I got an email back from them that said, uh, hi, John. Thank you so much for your interest in attending. Remember, this is the day before we came down here. Thank you so much for your interest in attending Marvel panel at D23 Expo 2022. Unfortunately, we are unable to accommodate your request for a reserved seat, uh, but a limited number of standby seats, uh, standby media seats will be available. And so then, so automatically, I'm like, why did you not tell me when I sent in the request weeks ago? Why did you not bother to tell me that we weren't going to get 
a reserved media seat. Again, I'm not entitled to it. Absolutely not. But you you said I got the media pass. You told me the procedure to make sure we got the media seating. I followed the procedure. On reliance on that, I spent thousands of dollars on not only setting a time the weekend and tra- driving down here, buying the hotels, getting some food, stuff like that, all kinds of stuff. Why couldn't you tell me more than less than 24 hours? It was probably about 16 hours at that point before I'm, go- I'm supposed to come down here and do this. So whatever. They tell me there's still a process to get in if you are media. And they say, um, head to the venue queue. For media standby, uh, head to the venue queue. Locations can be found at D23, yada, yada, yada. Uh, At the second bullet point, for panels in hall D23, the media standby queue will be located in lobby D on the main level. Then bullet point three says, media standby queues for morning presentations in Hall D23, Premier Stage, Backlot, Walt Disney Archive Stage, and Hyperion Stage will open each day at 9 a.m. So today, at 9 a.m., is when, hey, you don't have the media reserve seat, no problem. Go to the media standby section, that line opens at 9 a.m., and we'll take care of you. Now, again, I understood it's not going to be guaranteed, but they said just follow this procedure, right? So this morning, I decide instead of 9 a.m., I decide, you know what, I'm awake. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down a little bit early because I'm I'm an early bird kind of guy. So I'm going to go down a little bit early, this D23. So I go down hours early, and I go up to many of the very helpful volunteer staff who are here. Maybe they're paid. I don't know. But they're all very helpful, very nice. And I say, hey, so I'm media. I don't have reserve seating, but I'm supposed to go to Lobby D for the media standby line. And that's when they tell me there is no separate line for media standby line. You have to get into the general line. And then once you're in the building with the general standby line, then you can go to the separate media line. I'm like, that's not what the email told me. I mean, I wasn't blaming the, uh, the the volunteer staff. Of course not. They were doing the best they could. But I'm thinking to myself, that's not what they told me. They didn't. They, they just said, go to Lobby D and get in the media standby line. If I had known that, number one, I'd have to get in the general line first, I sure as hell would have gone there, down there a lot earlier than 7 a.m. I would have gone down there at like 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. just to make sure I got in. But they never told me that. So they said, okay, so go down to the general standby line, which is on the opposite end of the convention center. So I go down to the opposite end of the convention center, and there's the the, this, the uh, general standby line. I'm like, great, I, I'm, I'm here to go to Lobby D for the media standby line, but I understand I have to go through the regular line first. And they're like, yes, but unfortunately everything is now full. And I'm like... Okay, so even if, again, it wasn't their fault. They they were just telling me the the rules. I said, so I can't get in, even for the media standby line, that they told me in an email did not open until 9 a.m., and you're telling me that I can only get to that media standby line if I go in with the regular line, but the regular line is now cut off and I can't get to it. And they're like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, no, it's not your fault, not your fault. You're doing your job good on you. Thanks for being here and trying to help everybody have a good time. And again, it would have been nice to know all this if the media communication team wasn't such a circus clown show. Um, It would have been fine if when I had applied for for, media credentials, if they had just told me, ah, we can't accommodate giving you a media pass this year fine, cool. I'm not entitled to it. That's fine. But they go, oh, yeah, you got a media credential. Great. And here's how you get a seat in the panel. Great. Do what they tell me to do. Book hotels, set aside the time, spend all the money, all that kind of stuff. Never get back to me. Day before, day before, they tell me we can't grant your access. Oh, but there's another way you can get in. Just do this. And so I follow the instructions to the letter. And sorry, you can't get in. So, I spent thousands of dollars, money's money, whatever. I spent thousands of dollars, dragged Rob down here. He had to drive down here on his own. Me, Anne came down, whole bit, all this stuff was for nothing. Was for absolutely nothing. So, thanks a lot, Disney. 
and um, I will. Uh, so unfortunately, there that I wanted. I've been promising you guys this live stream today, and I owed you this video to explain why that live stream isn't happening because I'm not going to be in the room. I'm sure we'll talk about the events of the panel that's happening here at D23. I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk about it on Monday. But uh, again, I owed you guys this video because I had promised you this, that we were going to come out of that presentation and we're going to do this live stream. And yeah, and listen, let me emphasize again, I, I, I'm not mad that they're not letting us in. We're not entitled to it. That's fine. I just wish they had told us that and not uh, led us to believe and go through all these, jumping through all these hoops and spending all the money that we spent to try to ensure that we could give you guys the quickest updates that we could, the highest quality updates that we could. And uh, yeah, unfortunately that's going to happen. So that's a very long uh, <laughs> drawn out explanation as to why we will not be doing the stream today. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a better weekend than me. <laughs> First world problems. I'm in Anaheim, California. I mean, that's, that's, what's the worst thing? But I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty mad. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, we will talk to you guys on Monday. Take care, guys.